All right, um, I'm going to show you now how to import. We had a little trouble there, but I have plugged in my two gray cords. I have flipped down my camera lid on the bottom, um, and I should be able to open my iMovie and click on import. All right, once I have clicked on import, I'm going to go to my no name. All right, I'm going to find what was recorded today. Today's date might be a little off. The 27th day? Yeah. yeah. Alright. The time might be a little off, whatever. Um, what? Uh, yeah, that we'll do two. Okay. So let's just say import those two. It might be right. Uh, make sure you import to the correct part. This is a key part in the new iMovie. Um, import to new event, and then you get to do that. Make sure you take a note of that. Uh, We'll just do final project, and this is what you should probably do. And then your initials. And hit OK. Hit import selected. So now you have that concept in there. Okay. Of me going through my uh, instructions. All right. So basically. Um, this is that video. Uh, you can tell in the top right hand side how much time you have to import. If you look up here, it should be outlined. It should be outlined in uh, the blue area. Now it disappeared. So now we know that we're done with our camera. Uh, we should drag it from the desktop off. I'm going to go ahead and take the other small camera. And there's a little lid right here, left. And what you do is you just, it opens up. You don't rip it off. And then you just make sure that you plug in the gray cord. We can't lose the gray cord anywhere. And then you want to turn it on. Um, right here is a power button. Right on the side, underneath the viewer. Once you open up the viewer, you should see it. And then what will happen is you power that up. Should power up. And it should go ahead automatically. Uh, we have had trouble with this. Um, it might be full. I just realized that it might be full today because I don't see any of the footage. So we're probably going to take it out because none of it is in here. So that's okay. Uh, you would do the normal same concepts there. I'm going to have to delete some of that. Um, and when you're done, just put the lid back on. Um, a few things that I'm going to show you about iMovie for some of you guys that don't know. You're going to hit Create uh, Movie once you want to edit in your iMovie. And once you do that, you can choose a theme. You don't need necessarily a theme. Uh, I usually don't use a theme, and if I do, I use modern. So you're going to name your project. Maybe final movie, okay, instead of final project. So now it's all in one event. Down at the bottom, you have basically a storyboard you'll notice down here at the bottom this is your storyboard area this is where you'll drag and drop clips into it um, let's say if I just wanted to drag and drop a clip I just highlight what I wanted and hit the add button it would automatically add it I could physically move it as well um, tiles titles can be used over top of video. I would rather have it over top of video. Um, such as so. And then you can always go in and, and, and change it and extend how long you want it on there. It's pretty easy. Um, transitions are pretty self-explanatory in terms of where you want to put them between clips. 
Ma maps and sounds, sound effects are cool to put in. They're not necessary. What I don't want is I don't want blank titles. I want you to make a note of that. I don't want something like that where there's no picture and no video. I don't like that. It's 2015. This is like 2005. All right. So make sure that we have no blank titles. Everything should be video, pictures, collage, something at all times on there. Um, the other thing with this, green screen. So let's say I'm out of it. I need to go back to my final project up here in my events. If I'm going too fast, please let me know. Let's say I have that. Okay. How do I get a background? I need a background for that. Well, the easiest way is to go to YouTube. We do have backgrounds for you. Um, you just type in great background loops. All right. Some are downloadable, some are not. This 4X stuff is not. Um, Say if I want a lightning background. Okay. And I get here. The best way to download this is to type SS before the Y in YouTube. Okay. So what will happen is take you to this site. All right. And it will start converting it for you. It might take a few minutes. Sometimes it, it will not work. Other times it will. Um, it's kind of been hit or miss lately. But... It is still, in my opinion, the fat, one of the fastest ways to do it. And then you just select your output, like MP4. It'll download it to there, or wherever you have your downloads going. I don't have mine on the background, on the desktop, so I will put mine on the desktop real quick. Now I'll go back to my imports. I will make sure that I'm in the right project, which I am. I will go to my desktop. I should be able to find my lightning background. And click import and it'll be right there now a few things that I want to do is I'm gonna do a few seconds of lightning let's do 14 seconds I'm gonna add that in I'll get rid of that clip it's being kind of stubborn there all right now I'm gonna show you a little bit about green screen Maybe not the best video, but it'll work. And I'm going to just gonna put it over top, such as so. I'm actually just going to collect that, and I'm going to actually do a crop. Because I don't want everything in this video. I don't want the desk necessarily. I just want my big head in there. Okay, so now I got rid of the desk. Okay, and now I'm going to take the other one, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit green screen. And what should happen is normal, it's okay, take some segments. You can come down here and record yourself. You don't need anybody else in the room. We have mini tripods, we have tripods, we have all kinds of things that you need that I need. And I just borrowed that from YouTube real quick, uh, like so. So all of those concepts are easily in there. There's so many different things. Like if I need to increase my volume, my volume is here. Okay. If I do some kind of ducking, I got to make sure that's here. And then when I went to my iTunes and let's say I pulled out my favorite jam by Alanis Morissette. All right. And I put it in there. Okay. Just joking, by by the way. So you're like, you like him, man? It's more set. Wow. Okay. Then it won't be like Okay. Okay. I have to do something to lower that, where I can still hear it, but I got to be able to hear normal. myself. Normal. It's okay. Take some segments. Still. Okay. Take some segments. You can come down here and record yourself. You don't need anybody else in the room. 
mine might be a little loud. So you might, I might be, I'm a loud speaker. So I might only need 89%. Normal, it's okay. Take some segments. You can come down here and record yourself. You don't need anybody else in the room. We have many tripods. That's the ducking in a way. So those are iMovie basics. Um, sharing option. You want to click the file when you're finished with everything. You make a file on your desktop. You upload it to YouTube from there. You or you put it in ScreenFlow and you combine it from there. If you want annotations, uh, but th those are pretty basic features uh, in, in iMovie. There's also you know the slowing down a video. You you can really work on 10 percent. You know. Sounds like me in the morning. Um, you can make it really fast. Okay. So all those are basics. Have fun.